On this episode, we're going to be going over the difference between wrapping your electrical outlet with this Super 33 Plus electrical tape versus using this new product, Armor Band, right here, the stretchy little rubber band when it comes to wrapping around this receptacle right here or outlet. So make sure you stay also for the whole video because I'm, we're going to be doing three types of tests. We're going to do the poke test, the tear test, and we are going to be doing the fire test. Uh, which one will survive the flames. So stay tuned. I'm Jay from Fix This House. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So just a quick disclaimer, we are going to be working and talking about electrical components today. My codes and your codes might be different. So always make sure that you're always current and up-to-date with your current local electrical codes and you have the proper permits. Turn off the power from your circuit breaker whenever you're working with any type of electrical. And if you're unsure, unconfident, make sure you hire a qualified, certified professional. With that being said, my full disclaimer is in the description down below. Let's get into today's episode. So this is a follow-up video concerning the other video I talked about the pros and cons of wrapping electrical tape around your receptacle or outlet or switches. And you guys mentioned about um, reviewing this product right here, which is called Armor Band. A lot thicker than electrical tape and it's very stretchy and it can wrap around your electrical receptacle outlet. So I'm going to be talking about this product right here because this was a high request from your guys' comments from the last video. Make sure you watch this whole video because we're going to be doing a test and comparison between using just a regular electrical tape versus using the armor band. It's already a debatable topic whether you should even wrap around your electrical outlet or switches for safety purposes. In my opinion, you can never go wrong with going above and beyond when it comes to safety. I have three components right here. Let's go and check it out. Here are three different examples where we can start wrapping the electrical tape versus the armor band. What I have here is the GFCI. It's a lot thicker right here. You see how girthy this is. Very, very high, heavy duty. We also have this commercial grade outlet. We have this regular switch. Now, before we even get into wrapping these with electrical tape versus the armor band, let me just get to the characteristics of each one. Let's start off with the Super 33 Plus. This, you know, it has an adhesive backing and it is stretchable. This is a lot wider than the electrical tape. So meaning that this might have more coverage when stretched. But when you stretch this, obviously the, the width of it shrinks. This product right here comes in a pack of 10 and it's called the Armor Band Insulating Wraps. If you want to try out this uh, product right here, I'll leave it on the description down below. Make sure you check out that link. So if you look back to the characteristics of both, you can see that the Super 33 Plus electrical tape is very thin. And if you look at this right here, even if you stretch it, it's still a lot thicker like so. So Armor Band claims that this is actually equivalent to six wraps of this electrical tape. If you wrap one of the GFCIs, so let's just do one wrap. Always like to put the buddy tab around here. I'm not gonna do two wraps. I'm just gonna show you the differences of what they look like. That's what it looks like when you wrap GFCI with just your Super 33 Plus electrical tape. Now let's compare it with wrapping with the armor band. It claims that it's two times faster than wrapping it with electrical tape. Right, so that you have to do right after you wrap it is you're gonna have to go and orient it so that it wraps really well around the terminals, like so. Looking at the comparison between the GFCIs when it's wrapped, you can see that the thickness of this stuff is, you know, it's a lot thicker, obviously. The armor band does a lot more coverage than the regular electrical tape. And what's great about this armor band is that you can move it around like here in case you don't want it in a certain area, you want to do a little bit of adjustments. It is adjustable and you can move it left to right, up or down, depending on where you want to place it. When it comes to electrical tape, you're pretty much fixed on that area. You, you can try to kind of peel it back, but see how it folded over and started to stick on itself. That's the disadvantage of this. You can't move it around once it's set. That's one point for having a lot more coverage and another point for adjustability. Then at the end, you're gonna have to do a buddy tab just like what I did right there. 
And this one, no need for any of that. Just quick wrap, boom, you're done. Let's get into the, the receptacles, the electrical outlets right here, the most common ones you find. I do have a residential and a commercial. As you can see, there's really no difference. So this is what it looks like on your regular receptacle or outlet. Compared to that, let's go see how fast we can wrap this up. Real time. Okay, so we wrapped it up. Now we're gonna do some adjustments. Probably the only thing about this that will take time is trying to adjust this thing. It actually goes a little bit over the back. So that's a plus and a win for the armor band. Another plus with armor band is if you we take this out right here, you can tell that this is reusable and it is washable. But one disadvantage with using electrical tape is over time, it will start to peel off like so, like that, your buddy tab or your tape will start peeling off over time. In this case, you have no chances of this peeling off because it's just wrapped around. Uh, inspectors might have to unravel this and go peek under there. This one, if you have inspectors that are picky or whatnot, they can go, make sure they turn off the power from the circuit breaker. They can go and peek right quick on the terminals if that's what they're trying to inspect. That's what it looks like when you wrap around this, the switches. Boom. Boom. That's pretty much done. See how fast that is? Super fast. So if you compare it with the electrical tape versus this, which one would you prefer? Would you prefer the armor band or the electrical tape? In my honest opinion, the armor band does look a lot cleaner and neater compared to the electrical tape. This you have a little flapper going on. Then this one just pure clean. So now we're gonna test this out. We're gonna sacrifice one armor band for you friends. Let's go test out what if it gets cut. All right, so let's see, it gets cut right there. Now it has a little nick. What if you stretch it? Will it continue to stretch? It doesn't continue on or the cut doesn't, does not get any bigger. See how much I'm stretching it right there? If you go back, sure it gave it a little bit of cut right there, but it does withstand if it does get cut. If you get, this gets cut, it will start to run. See that? Let's say you're working with wire and it gets poked, it's a little bit of stretch before it actually starts getting punctured. And you see that right there, that's about a good one inch before you know, it penetrates just like that. And even though you stretch it, even though it's poked, it's not gonna run, it's gonna still have just have a poke like there. Just like what we have on this cut right here, it does not run. Armor band also claims to exceed flame retardant properties versus the electrical tape. So I'm gonna stretch this out. Hopefully my hand doesn't catch on fire. Okay. So five, four, three, two, one. There you go. So that was pretty long. I've been, I was, I was actually putting the flame right there very long. And you notice how well it would stand the flame. That was actually pretty good. So that was a, probably a good 10 seconds of flame on, right on the surface right there. Now, if we did that with the electrical tape, so again, friends, do not try this at home. This is just for instructional purposes, all right? So if we put the tape, yeah. Yeah, we, that was only that was only like two seconds, not even a second, and it started to tear out. Armor band was telling the truth, and they stuck to the word when it comes to flame resistance. It definitely withstand that flame. You know, just did a discoloration. You, I don't know if you can tell, right there, it turned a little bit of green, greenish blue, but it still stood strong compared to electrical tape. Given if you even put two wraps around there that flame's still gonna go through. So I love my subscribers. You guys always bring up these great topics. I wouldn't have found out about this armor band if it wasn't for you, friends. So let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about the armor band. In my honest opinion, I think armor band is the way to go. Just when it, we went and tested out with the flames, this thing, like if I kept going, I didn't wanna keep going because I was getting kind of scared of get, setting it on fire, setting on my smoke alarm. But this definitely would stand that flame a lot longer, way longer than this electrical tape. I do have nine of these left in this pack. 
So if you comment down below, I will pick one winner and give away this one, uh, the last of the remaining nine pack because we destroyed the 10th one right here. I will be giving this away for you to try out. I mean, I like to send products like these. That's what I'm gonna try to do in most of my videos now. Every product review that I do, I will try to do a giveaway with it because I want, to, I want you guys to test out every product that I try out on this video, on my videos. So friends, if you found this video super helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, press the subscribe and notification bell. I love doing these product reviews with you friends and I like it when you test me and ask me for different reviews to make videos on these things. So thank you so much friends. I'll see you on the next video.